guys, it's Kerry. I've got big cats and zoo animals today. Jaguar. The strength of its jaw muscles relative to weight are stronger than those of any other cat. Its jaws are slightly shorter, which increases the leverage for biting. The anaconda is the only natural enemy of jaguar. On the coast of Costa Rica, they leave the jungle to hunt turtles on the tropical beach. Cheetah. It will typically stalk its prey to within 70 metres, charge towards it, trip it during the chase and bite its throat to suffocate it to death. With a bite force of about 500 psi and a strike strong enough to fight off a warthog or antelope, cheetahs are three times stronger than humans but weaker than other big cats. What they lack in strength, they have in speed and agility. Tiger, they are recorded to have killed more people than any other big cat and have been responsible for more human deaths through direct attack than any other wild mammal. The tiger's tongue is covered with numerous small, sharp, rear-facing projections called papillae. These give the tongue a rough rasping texture and is designed to help strip feathers, fur and meat from prey. Lion. They are known for being ferocious and vicious, especially when hungry or provoked. Although, they are afraid of large mammals like giraffes, hippos and elephants. Their main source of strength comes from their size, muscle mass, bite and claws. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Leopards are powerful predators, but no match against a pride of hungry lions or a particular ornery, which means bad-tempered, tiger. Thankfully for these cats, they exhibit a unique behaviour to protect their precious meals from other hungry mouths. When leopards kill a large animal, they use their strong jaws and powerful limbs to drag the kill up into the trees. Hippo. On land, they are able to move at speeds up to 30 kilometres per hour and can maintain these speeds for several hundred metres. In shallow waters, their short legs provide powerful propulsion through water, while their web feet allows them to navigate on shallow river bottoms. With its ferocious jaw force, unique mouth size and sharp teeth, they can easily bisect a human body in a single bite. Flying Squirrel they are able to glide from one tree to another with the aid of a patagium, which is a very parachute-like membrane that stretches from wrist to ankle. Their long tails provide stability in flight. White rhino, they have a square lip for grazing. The white rhino is the largest of the five living species of rhinos. Their strong jaws can exert a bite force up to 1,000 psi, while their teeth and horns are also powerful. Rhinos are up to 25 times stronger than humans and about 10 times stronger than lions. Giraffe. The giraffe's two meter long legs are very powerful. In fact, a giraffe's kick can generate an impact of 2,000 psi. Their long necks with their powerful muscles and heavy bones pack quite a punch, leaving some males seriously hurt after a necking match. Zebras make all sorts of weird sounds. 
Mountain zebras whinny like a horse, griefy zebras bray like a donkey, and plain zebras bark like dogs. Alarmed stallions may squeal or snort. Lions are colorblind, so that means when a zebra is standing in tall grass, they are virtually invisible. Okapi, it has a long head and dark muzzle with large set back ears, which enable the okapi to detect approaching predators easily. Males use their necks in fighting situations where there's territorial disputes or fighting for females. Golden Lion Tamarind Both male and female Golden Lion Tamarinds have the mane-like hair around their faces. They move through the trees on all four legs and can spring and leap between branches and vines. Wolf. Wolf packs are established according to a strict hierarchy with a dominant male at the top and his mate not far behind. Usually this male and female are the only animals of the pack to breed. All the adults help to care for their young pups and bring them food. African elephant. Bulls know when cows are ready to mate by a scent in the female's urine and genital area. During courtship, the bull will try to stroke her with his trunk. The male chases the female if she retreats. Once she stops retreating, they will stroke each other with their trunks. Only then will the female let the male mount her and copulation lasts about two minutes. Females may mate with several different bulls and are considered polygynandrous. Male elephants have a long prehensile penis that is about 1.8 meters in length on average. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and answer all your comments. Thank you for watching my video, see you again soon. See you guys in my next video.